Hey everybody, I'm gonna tell you what the beef I have is with broccoli beef. My big beef with broccoli beef is that the broccoli is never cooked enough or charred enough. You can see some of the brown, the dark brown char I'm getting, but I want a nice char on my broccoli. And from there, I'm gonna add my green onions, my chopped ginger. All of this stuff I'm searing in a rice oil, rice bran oil. Last of the raw ingredients that goes in, is the garlic, because it wants to burn the first, and we don't want to burn our garlic. Right when I get that sauteed, I'm gonna turn the fire off and I'm gonna add my oyster sauce. I'm gonna let the residual heat continue to cook the broccoli while I get on my steak. Today I'm gonna to show you a couple of steak cuts that I think work best, and are also the least expensive, maybe in the butcher counter. These are called hanger steaks or butcher's cut, and oftentimes they're butcher's cut because the butchers always save them for themselves. They're a little bit hard to sell. And when you cook them, you have to cut them across the grain. And then this is a skirt steak from the underside of the plate of the steer. And I'm just gonna take some spice rub. This is my Chinese 12 spice. This is Mishima Reserves. It was on sale at $16.99 a pound, and there's 100% usage. These off cuts can be beautifully reasonable. Really important when you're cooking flank or any sort of thin steak like this is to get a hot sear because you don't have much time, right, to get the crust on the steak because it's gonna get too cooked uh, in the middle. You can see that the grain goes all the way across here. So the only trick to skirt steak, to keeping it from being stringy, is to cut against the grain. It's fatty, it's delicious, and lovely. On to my platter goes my broccoli. Okay, you remember, we're gonna cut with this and then we're gonna cut across the grain. And you can make this as rare as you want. I like this particular cut, super rare. Oh, can't wait. Should I sneak a bite? This is when you get the torture of the cameraman. Mm, so good. And then we can finish with just a touch of oyster sauce on the beef. And that, my friends, is a delicious springtime meal.